Is Elon Musk about to cause the machine uprising? Or is that a wildly unsubstantiated claim? Find out more on today's... Musk It seems like every week we hear more and more about Elon Musk's dire predictions and the warnings of the dangers of artificial intelligence. It's almost like he cares about it as an issue and is actively trying to do something about it. I think people should be really concerned about it. Almost. I spend a lot of time on the internet. I know, it's impressive. So I'm not nice. used to people being genuine instead of crafting some sort of ironic persona. Uh, back to the story at hand, though. Elon Musk and 115 other AI specialists from 26 countries wrote an open letter to the United Nations calling for a ban on the development of autonomous weapon systems, including drones, tanks, Ed 209, Terminators, Cybermen, and Johnny High Fives. Oh, it's alive, baby. And just so you don't think this is out of nowhere, the UN's actually getting ready to discuss and vote on the future of autonomous weapons as we speak. Elon Musk and other signers warned that by developing autonomous weapons, humans could be creating the very thing that will destroy us. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. The open letter said, <clears throat> Once developed, lethal autonomous weapons will permit armed conflict to be fought at a scale greater than ever and at time scales faster than humans can comprehend, end quote, I said it. And if we allow autonomous drones to have guns, I mean, what's next? Roombas? <laughs> what? Actually, that would be like pretty cool. And if you yeah. don't believe me, yeah, just Google cool. Roomba knife because that sh is wild. <laughs> Just a reminder that we do not actually condone using slippery slope arguments like in the joke above. They're technically a logical fallacy. And not a logical phallus. Moving on from that dick joke, we've called Elon Musk <laughs> many things on this show. Wow. But it's time to add a new name to his roster. Ice Cream Man! SpaceX made another trip to the International Space Station last week and it was loaded with literally tons of scientific experiments. But you know what else the Dragon Capsule carried to the ISS? No. Actual ice cream! What? They got vanilla. Hell yeah. They got chocolate. Oh, hell yeah! They got birthday cake flavor. Oh, hell yeah! And they even got some of those little Snickers ice cream bars. Oh, hell yeah! And we're not talking about that freeze-dried crap you get at the museum that tastes like chewing styrofoam. This guy knows. And the icing on this cake, or should I say the cherry on top of this sundae, is oh. that one of the experiments that the dragon helped deliver in that same shipment is called ISS cream. Oh! Ice oh. cream, where the cream wow. stands for cosmic ray energetics and mass instead of cool, really enjoyable, and moist. Your tax dollars at work. So SpaceX successful... So SpaceX so SpaceX success so SpaceX successfully delivered both ice cream and ISS cream to the International Cream Station. And speaking of lots of cream, here's a smooth transition. We here at Muskwash try not to call too much attention to what's going on behind the scenes here, but today is a special day. While you're watching this episode on Tuesday or whenever, we are filming it on Monday, August 21st, 2017, and the total solar eclipse is happening as I'm speaking. And we want to report on it for you, but we're stuck here in this studio, Forever. so we're gonna give our viewers a must watch first and Ooh. throw this segment to our intrepid team of field reporters who are out there right now to report to you live on this phenomenon. Let's go to the map. Thank you so much, Dan and Kyle. Kyle and Dan here in the field. Yes, we are different people, and we're coming to you live with the Eclipse update. Ooh, it is bright outside. Now, we are in the middle of Southern California, so not technically in the path of totality, but you can still see something pretty cool if you look up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kyle and Dan, for that illuminating information. They're always great. And before we go, it's time for your must-see moment of the week. Oh, oh why? <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? Oh, my boy. Oh, Look what they did to my boy. just a boy. Oh. How? Elon Musk is adding a new feature across Tesla models that will move the seat back and raise the steering wheel when the car is in park because someone tweeted at him and asked if he could. Oh, really? That's awesome. His yeah. reply to the ask was, quote, <clears throat> Good point. We will add that to all cars in one of the upcoming software releases. Huh, pretty cool. Never responds to my tweets, but that's pretty cool. That, yeah, it's because you tweeted him every hour on the hour for with, the last year. With just hashtag daddy, hashtag follow back, hashtag adopt back. We're not claiming that Tesla will be the first company who uses such a feature. Many have this feature already, but what attracts us is the openness and willingness to listen. But like, why is he being so reasonable and cool about yeah, this? Could suspicious. it be 
Maybe that he just believes in a future where my milky white thighs don't have to chafe on the bottom of that leathery steering wheel when I get out of my car. I can see your bones through your skin. Oh, it is translucent. No extra required, baby. <laughs> Or is he being so nice because he's trying to lure us into a false sense of safety because he's secretly a supervillain, like we've always said? Does he think we'll be too distracted with our renewable energy and our power walls and our Teslas and our, and our solar roofs to see what's really going on? Nah. You'll tell me if it ever starts getting genuinely insane, right? <laughs> My thighs depend on it, and they depend on you. That's all the time we have for today's episode of Musquatch. As they say, bye. bye. Ah, Thanks for watching this week's Musquatch. Remember to like and comment below. That's all, no jokes today. Please just do it, we need this. We do. Uh, make sure to tweet us your <laughs> best musky stories at Sanfa. At Dan Casey. Nick Meldis. With the hashtag. Misquist. Misquist. I don't know what, what kind of instruments do they even have in Scandinavia? Uh, fish I don't bones? Know, troll claws? <laughs> <laughs>